What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as Australia. I hope you're enjoying the action so far. It's been a weird game. There's, I don't just think it's us that's not at war. I'm now beginning to realise I don't think anyone has at any point really been at war with anyone that much. It's, it's been a weird one, but we're going to try win. Got multiple victory types that obviously I think are still viable for us. I'm just going to check. I think a science victory is on the cards. Um, we're, we're sort of, okay, we're two techs ahead now. We were joint a minute ago. Well, there we go. We're, yeah, we're well ahead there on science per turn. But yeah, science victories on the cards. I think, I mean, <laughs> domination, it says, oh, someone's actually getting towards a religious victory. They're like halfway. I don't know how accurate this is. Um, four out of eight, I mean, wouldn't be impossible. I mean, we are one of the four. <laughs> um, the other four are further away. So I think, you know, we should be okay. They'll slow down a bit. And I think the other four... Most of them have the, like, Norway have their own religion, Scotland have their own religion, Indonesia have their own. So that's a lot harder to convert. The Gauls' religion died. Like, none of us, none of me, Maori, Zulu, actually had a religion. So, there you go. That's why, that's why we're on the bad side of the continent, probably. Um, diplomatic, I mean, it's it's there. It's not impossible, but we're it's a, it's a long way. We're on nine. I mean, we, we shouldn't carry it away. So I think science is the one we are going for. But obviously, yeah, I mean, I'll, I will do things, I'll try and win all the diplomatic votes, you know, I will try and get the Statue of Liberty, that one, <laughs> nearly forgot what it was called, we will try and get that, okay, I mean, I may as well get this, three envoys is very good, we get a lot of gold for that as well, and, you know, we can be suzerains and stuff like that, and then get nearer to a diplomatic victory, that sort of stuff, right, what do we need in Sydney, I did want a spaceport, I've got the best of choices, but there looks absolutely fine. 16 turns. As opposed, yeah, that's quicker than Canberra. So, yeah, you go ahead and build that. Flood barrier. I mean, yeah, it's probably tight. I mean, if it's two turns, I may as well, right? It doesn't hurt. Oh, democracy's unlocked. Here we go. Boom, the switch. Three more era score. Maybe I should have waited, but never mind. Here we go. So we get another economic policy and one more wild card. That's all we've unlocked. I mean, we could put whatever we want in the wild card. I mean, we're not even using any wild cards at this moment, but I, I might put great scientist and great engineer points in, although I don't have to drop one of these, wouldn't I? I guess I might drop Raj, 8 gold, 8 science, 8 culture, is obviously a lot, but it's not, it's not a mammoth amount, also our science just dropped by 80, I'm not really sure what happened there, it was at 320 last turn, concerning, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, I feel like Raj is not super useful, I think if we could go great scientist points and great engineer points, they're the ones that are going to help us to get, um, I've forgotten what I was going to say already. They're the ones that will help with the space projects, you know, the last few great people in that category. And then economic policies, I mean, we can go with any of these really. 32 gold, obvious choice, I guess. The four gold from the trade routes. I'm just going to check. Some of them obviously don't have abilities that are as obvious. 50% production to settlers, for example. No, we don't really need that. Housing and amenities would be quite nice. To be fair, that would solve a lot of issues. Or we could just... We have a lot of money. I'm going to go housing amenities. I feel like that might fix a lot of our issues, to be honest. Um, right here, yes. Get a granary, because you're in the snow. <laughs> that would help. Build a pasture here. There we go, finally. I meant to work that tile ages ago. Unless... No, I probably worked that one and never did that one. There's also some amber here. We may as well get that while we're here. Try and fix these amenities issues. Um, I also see there's some rice there, which could be could be useful. Right, lumber mill for Adelaide here. Lovely. Go work that amber. Can do with more builders as well. More silver. Good, good. They put an encampment next to us. Maybe they're more scared of me than I am of them. I have no idea. Shaka, what's going on? Come on. Okay, two turns though. That flood barrier, that is a good idea. Where was that? That was the Zulu again. Have we just avoided rivers? I'm very confused. I feel like all the floods we have are in Sydney, and they're obviously prevented by the Hanging Gardens. Was it Hanging Gardens? I don't know. Something here prevents floods. <laughs> I think it's the Hanging Gardens, but whatever it is, it's doing a good job. <laughs> right, come get that rice tile. Three turns. Ugh, fine. Right, launch moon landing. Yes, we want to make some progress here. We are going to get a great musician. I mean, we, we've seen we can buy a lot of great people. I'll come back. Right, the next great engineer gives appeal. It's not too great. Great scientist is very expensive. It just grants... Okay, well, it, that's not as useful towards um, spaceship parts. I was wrong. But some of them are... There is some that give, like, really good abilities. You know, speeding up spaceship parts. All that good stuff. Okay, our science went up again. So I think it... 
I don't know what was happening, but something... Where is this flood barrier going to be? I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of this Golden Gate Bridge. See, this is going to ruin this Bay Area. <laughs> Just putting up some giant walls next to everything. I feel like... I think they're there, they're there now. I've clicked it. Right. Another great work. We'll get some tourism up. The spaceports are on their way. We've got a theatre square on its way as well. We've got Cristo Redental, which, I don't know, 19 turns. We might get, we might not. Not not crucial, not desperate for it. But if we do get it, I'll I'll have it, you know. It will look pretty cool. And here we go, add an amber mine. Just another luxury to the collection. Apparently I've been ravaged by a natural disaster. I'll take everyone's money here. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Ha hand out the charity money. City range attack. These barbarians are not... um. And not run it. There is a lot of copper down here. We, yeah, we, we missed out on that. But oh well. There's also a tribal village. I mean, this late in the game, you never know. <laughs> you could get something pretty nice from that. We could get, you know, we could get some cool stuff. Probably not the Zulu. Now nah, we don't want to help them. We want to help Australia. Yes, uh, <laughs> decline, downvote <laughs> on the Zulu. You know, I'm not going to downvote. I'm going to upvote because I've got to. Uh, you know what? Change my mind a little bit. Also, I don't know what I did for the World's Fair. Did I did I contribute anything? I won! One diplomatic victory point. I was going to say, if I do the aid requests and win both, I would then have 14 diplomatic victory points, at which point I would only need to build, like, the, um, the Statue of Liberty to get another four. Yeah. We, we could... We can... Uh, all of a sudden, yeah, we're two... Then we just need one more vote. I'm trying to sleep that unit. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was painful to watch, I know. Okay, then. 11 turns, 12 turns, 4 turns, 17, 2, 1. We're getting stuff. We're getting stuff done. Begin voting. Are we voting again? I mean, 2, yeah. Throw me. I'm going to put everything, in, not everything, but a lot into that. I have literally no idea. I'm not trading with any city-states, so militaristic plus 1. Double of the Chosen. I'm going to go Silver again. I'm not going to commit too much. Probably one of our resources will win. Or B will, option B will go. So here we go. Let's spend 9 votes. No, 10, just to be sure. That's only half of our overall votes. I mean, in theory then, we'd only need to win the events. Yep, yeah, we won. 30. Let's just, I just will see. So the nearest was 5. Okay, so we went a bit over the top. I believe you get half of it back if you win. Something like that. I think we gained... We were on like... I don't know what we got back. We got a little bit back. We didn't get half, but... We got some of it back, so that's fine. Um, we will accept that. That's good. So we now have diplomatic victory points. A 13. 13. So we'd need seven more. As I said, there's... F is there one available here? There's four available. Okay. Oh, there's two. I can't win my own one, obviously. Okay. There's two available here for the Zulu... Then there's four available for the Statue of Liberty Wonder. I don't know if that can... Can we start on that yet? I probably should. If I'm going to flip... Must be adjacent to a harbour. The city doesn't have a harbour. Ah, that sucks. Okay, could you build five turns? This would be a big gamble. We'd probably be sacrificing... Oh, Sydney has one. Hang on. Can I build it here? Eleven turns. Okay, stick that there. Am I getting this right? I don't want to build the wrong Wonder. I don't want to be... Oh, dang it, I've, I've spilt it now, I can't find it. Uh, Wonders, probably in here somewhere. Why? <laughs> Why is it so hard to find stuff? There's no search. <laughs> Governors, improvements, terrain. There must be a Wonders. Wonders and projects, there we go, Wonders. Statue of Liberty. Four diplomatic victory points, there we go, yes. We will go for that, okay, that's fine. And now I'm going to switch my government to give me the production bonus towards it. Yeah, I know it's obviously a flip away from the space victory. It's not too bad. We still have a spaceport coming up in case. Obviously, you know, they all gang up on you at the end. So we would need a lot of diplomatic points to push the final sort of vote over the line. I am aware. So it's not going to be easy by any means. But um, we'll try our best as we continue to clear this camp out. But yeah, we now have 13 points. So there is hope. We could get a nice di diplomatic victory. That would come very quickly. We get the spaceport. See, I never know which spy this is. Okay, renew mission. There we go. Satellites, that's done. Go in here. Boom. Okay, those barbarians are officially gone. Where are we at in the tech tree? Okay, we're a bit behind here, so we'll go for advanced ballistics. Although we could... Yeah, we need to get... There's loads, look. We need to get to nanotech. 
for the next space part. Right, uh, tourism. What gives more diplomatic favour? That might be the way to sort of base our civics from now on. Claim another great person. Yes, welcome to the team. Send aid. Yes, we need to start sending some aid. We're going to try bring... City provides plus one appeal. Yeah, stick it in Sydney. Why not? Um, envoys. Right, suzerain. Yes, not us, but it could be us. Uh, where are we close? We are here. We are here somehow. We just, we just sat here at the same amount the whole time. Keep getting dragged into competition for Taruga. But I guess we'll just... Okay, 15 might be a big. 17 might be very excessive. But yeah, no, let's not do that. 13... And then which one's the lowest? Six for Kabul. So here we go. We'll go, go up to five, and then maybe next time we'll get that one. That also brings in a lot of money. But right, let's have a look at our policies. Let's readjust, because I don't need all this money. We could definitely drop some of these gold-giving policies. Um, we still don't have the one that gives more oil and aluminium. Oh, no, we do. It's here. I might put that in. We're, still make, we're making 500 gold per turn. We don't, losing 30, 28 is not an issue. Okay, well, that's that policy sorted. That was separate. But, yeah, I'm happy with that because, I mean, we only need to use it for a bit, right? Get to the full amount and then stop using it. It's not as bad. Economic policies. Is there anything here that will grant diplomatic favor? No. Okay, well, we'll leave that as it is then. Oh, but I do want this. Production to wonders. Um, I'm going to swap the new deal out just because I don't want to impact our science in case we don't win the diplomatic victory. So I'm going to switch that out. We can put the new deal back in. Once we finish the Statue of Liberty, that's fine. It's just a short-term thing. Diplomatic, right? Right now we have envoys. I believe they con diplomatic favor. Where does it actually come from? I should know this stuff, but I have a rough idea, right? But I don't remember. So embassies, we should get more of those from our government type. That's fine. Carbon emissions penalty. That's hurting. Might try and get rid of some of our carbon producing units um, tactically. Although I like the tanks. And suzerain of, is giving us some as well. Okay, so suzerain. You don't get it just from having some envoys. Okay. So there's anything here. First envoy counts as two. That's not really going to affect us. I think we can see all the city-states. There might be a couple more, but we're probably not going to find them. Okay, I don't think there's anything worth changing. None of these will make a huge impact. And I'm happy with the wild cards as they are. Okay, we'll stick with that. That's knocked a turn or so off the Statue of Liberty. The carbon emissions is the annoying one. We only have one power plant, which is the ones we can't I can't do anything about those, I'm afraid. Once you built it, you're sort of stuck with it. I don't know why there's not an ability to turn it off or whatever. That would have been would be nice, but we don't have that. Um, so yeah, I guess the key would be maybe just delete our artilleries. Um, and replace them with something else. But we'll see. We are in a we're in a got we're just in a golden age. Uh, none of these will help us necessarily to arms. I'm just going to take the Wonders 10% production. I mean, that's probably nothing because it's less than 10 turns. It's like a half a turn. But there we go. We'll get closer to the Statue of Liberty. We cannot really afford to lose it. Moderate Flood, which will not have any impact. Thank you. Thank you, early George, when you were in charge of this game. You made some good choices. Let's send some more aid to try and win. We cannot... Okay, we lost that wildcard policy. But that's because there's a better great scientist policy coming through. Okay, right. How are we doing on the Zulu's aid request? We are negative. What? <laughs> How's that happened? Establish embassy. You know what? I need to... I'm just going to go around everyone and establish embassies. If that gives you more money... I have 4K, mate. Here you go. Have... I might regret this when he buys a ton of units and kills me. Have a thousand gold. <laughs> for now <laughs> what do you mean for now you should be happy all the time right embassy we are not interested jesus okay someone someone's in a mood embassy we are not interested okay i feel like i've got embassies at everyone that likes me embassy there we go if i get some more embassy i think i have some here already but the more i get the more diplomatic favor we can sort of cover up that carbon emissions penalty um it's it they're all saying we're happy i feel like some of them were already done but Regardless, also, I don't know where, but we have uranium. I, I see it. It's ticking upwards. Um, yeah, we still have loads of gold. Yeah, this is now up to 11. I think that might go up even further this turn, if we're lucky. Okay. Right now, I'm not too, I'm not panicking. I don't feel like we need to delete oil units yet. That seems like a very last-minute thing. We're definitely winning this right now. We are in first place. That's two. So we'd only be one off, essentially. If we get the Statue of Liberty, if no one beats us to it, 
then as it stands, we would only need one more point, which sometimes you get, you know, you might get that naturally, just unexpected. It does happen. Not not, not unexpected or random, but, you know, it, it happens in the background. That's, and I maybe just don't notice. So that's good news. This city's got really good production, you know. 23 turn spaceball is about the same as what Canberra was at the start. Um, I don't even know what to go. I might go... I'd love to be able to build something here, but I think this tile is considered Townsville. Does it? Oh no, it would let me put a commercial hub there. Just, I mean, there is bananas there, but I've never sent anyone there to work them. We're getting three gold wherever I put this. Um, I don't really need gold. We have a campus, though. I'm just going to get another theatre square. Oh, it's plus three everywhere. Plus five here, but we'd have to sacrifice the mine. Um... Five production or a theatre square. I want, see, if I put an industrial zone here, I'd at least... Well, we've already got one, actually. I have no idea. What, what are these tiles? It's really just terrible. That's, none of them are terrible. These are two... The worst is, like, four things, and there are two food, two production, or three food, one production. So it's the choice. This tile is good. I, I don't really want to build it here because I'm not that bothered. Um... I'm just too lazy to work these bananas, so we'll, we'll go stick a theatre square on top of the bananas. It looks like Norway City is about to flip. I mean, finally, some cities changing hands in this game. I've not had any loyalty problems to this series so far. It feels weird saying series. I this has been, on an episode a day, this has, like, just flown by. Like, I, think, I, didn't, I don't even know if I'd started. I'd started just over a week ago, based on the numbers. I don't know how we're on to, like, I think this is episode 10. Yeah, I don't know how. It feels feels like we're just flying through. But there we go. Right, the big moment is ten turns away. Ten? Three. Three. No one beat us to this wonder. A city-state just died. I mean, okay. We gained another era score. We have got to get a lot of era score for the next era. Oh, my goodness. I see that. That is... Okay, that's... Yeah, we might want to try and win before the next era. If that is at all remotely feasible, we probably want to do that. Uh, we've, we've got our modern government type, don't we? So we could, in theory, skip these two. I don't know if there's a policy here that we desperately need. Um, no, we could skip those altogether. Uh, we'll go Cold War, just because it's boosted. Build two entertainment complexes. That's not even that hard. Like, we should have done that, and we just haven't. All right, we'll become the Suzer in here. We are the suzerain everywhere else. Yes, all the other ones. So let's pick another one to go for. We'll go for candy. Not really. Didn't really want to be the suzerain of a religious city-state, but they're the ones we've started, so we'll finish. Oh, there's an aluminium mine tile potential there. Obviously, the volcano's an issue. I mean, these tiles are really good despite being blown up, so I guess, you know, you just live with it sometimes. Right, we stay the suzerain. Oh, we lost it in Bologna. Go back. Don't do that. No, I didn't notice that. Go up to 11. Next vote is 17 sessions. In theory, if it does come up again as a choice, we could win the game then. And here we go. We do get the Statue of Liberty. That pushes us closer. That pushes us on to 17 diplomatic victory points. There we go. We may not even have to wait till the end to get that science victory. Australia taken over the world diplomatically which is rather fitting because this has been a very non-wary game um, no wars at all for us um, yet we also gra get a great scientist which is lovely uh, wait, what, where do I use them why can I only use them in another city what, <laughs> what? Um, must be on a tile owned by a non-hostile foreign campus in a pat okay fair enough go over there that was a weird <laughs> collection of things, requirements, but whatever. Repair your factory. Oh, this time the northern river flooded, so it did break. Oh. Okay, well, that's fine. A dam. Oh, you know what? Three food. We can put a dam here. That just solves most of... I think at that point, maybe the river could still flood here. But it hasn't done that yet. <laughs> so on that logic, probably won't happen. <laughs> he says... I mean, compared to how much the other one's been flooding, like, it's probably not going to. Uh, don't build a campus. This city is not great. I, I, I don't know. You're in the snow. 
110 turns for a spaceport. Just build more builders. Those are useful. I can send them up north if I need to. Not much of this snow has melted. I mean, are we even on level... Like, a level of climate change yet? I feel like when we are... Okay, we're on level one. I am contributing the most, about 33% exactly, almost. So, um, that's not great, but... The Gauls are starting to catch up. They've done about a quarter. Scotland's maybe done 20%. Only the Maori have not done any. And they're, they're not having the best of games. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure they're one to... Um, you know, let's not be proud to compare ourselves to them. Uh, oh, these are all pretty nice. Do any of these give diplomatic victory points? No. Receive a second naval unit each time you build. That is pretty cool. We're not really... In need of that. I'm just going to get some builders. There's still a lot of empty, unworked tiles that we can do. Got the dam on the way. We might actually get the Cristo Redentor as well. Um, which I don't think we actually benefit at all from its abilities. Tourism from Seaside Resort. Yeah, I don't think any of that stuff. Relics, tourism. None of that helps us. But, but we stop other people getting it and we put it right next to the Zulu. Uh, War Department. Royal Society. Builders gain the ability to help districts. Provide four slots for any great work. We could do with that. We're getting a lot of great people. And I don't know. We're back at this city. I just built you the campus. Are you still not finished? I could do some more archaeologists, you know. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Oh, the Zulu killed Cahokia. Oh, okay. I didn't know where that was. I saw that they died. I didn't even know where they were. But there they are. It's Norwegian city, still going to flip 18 turns. Maybe it will come our way. That'll be pretty cool. I'm not going to force it and go capture it, but they've just seen the beautiful bay area that is now protected from floods. Well in advance of flooding as well. Like, we are as far... <laughs> it's very early stages of climate change. Right, there we go. We boosted that immediately. Go professional sports. Workshop. Right, how is my aid aid plan working again with Shaka. We're still at the most. Just got to keep an eye on that. Make sure 11 turns to spare. To make sure we do come in as number one. All that extra aluminium is not helping. What are we using? Wait, it says it's not stockpile. I don't know where we got this 12 from. I think I got given it. Look at this trade route. Food, production, gold, science. I mean, it's not much. <laughs> Those other things, but I'll take it. Thanks, Norway. One turn nuclear power plant. I mean, that is... St. Basil's Cathedral in one... T oh, it's because we lost... No! <laughs> we lost it with a turn to spare. Oh, no. Um, It's okay. I'm trying to build something that doesn't really up my climate penalty. Uh, just get me a builder. It's fine. Oh, we got a mech... Where did this come from? Oh, you were building a digger unit, I think, and those are now mechanized infantries. Not sure how this must... Uh, oh, no, it got destroyed in the um, sandstorm. That's what happened. See, I remember all this stuff. I remember things. 17 victory points. Four to go. Two in ten turns for winning the Zulu. This could be next episode, you know. If the vote comes up right. We're very dependent on the right vote coming up. But I think this late in the game, it does come up every time. Uh, Venetian Arsenal. You know what? Eight turns. Screw it. Stick it here. I just want things to look nice. We're just hoarding stuff. It's more era score if we do have to go the distance this game. I'm going to send some more aid. Here, we'll work those crabs, or build on those crabs. Okay, you know what? We can't quite put what we want here, but we'll put a wind farm here, which is three era score, and it looks pretty cool as well. So that looks very cool. I don't know why the wind turbines are bigger than the mountains, but there we go. That's, that's cool. We've still got a lot of era score to go. But okay, diplomatic failure, 507. Will that be enough if I throw everything at it? Maybe, maybe it will. Is there any... Any great... Okay, there's a lot of things to choose here. Hang on. Launch Earth Satellite. Convert to nuclear power. Is recommended. Then I have to remember. That's the only thing. I don't want it to blow up. We will launch the Earth Satellite. We're just in case. Yeah, we might have to fall back on that option. Right, here we go. Three amenities and four housing for a city. Where on Earth is that going to be most useful? Where's the reports tab? I believe I've got a mod on that makes the reports better. And I have not used them at all. Uh, cities. Let's see what this does. See this? Here we go. I've not used this once, but you can see who doesn't have housing. Sydney and Canberra needs housing. I mean, we may as well do Canberra then. Population. Oh, yeah. 16 out of 13. Sydney, 17 out of 
Okay, I'm going to go back and look at that because that's actually pretty cool. Um, I will save that for next episode, actually, because that is going to be it for this one. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. We've got 10,000 gold. We should be winning. Can you buy Diplomatic Favor? I think you can. I might throw someone 10k just to make sure we win. <laughs> but that will be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.